when cutting your duck out of the package to butcher it, you want to make sure that you leave a nice little pocket, and that's where some of the juices are going to collect, and it's going to keep your work surface a little bit cleaner. Now, you'll notice that when you open up the cavity of the duck, a lot like chicken, it's going to have uh, the giblets and the neck in there. So here we have the liver, and they actually, they bonused me on the liver here, which is nice. Uh, let's see what else we got in there. Oh, we got a, a gizzard, and... Looks like we got another gizzard, which is kind of odd because usually ducks don't have two gizzards. And then we got a couple of hearts, which is good. So it looks like we got bonus on on all the uh, innards, which is nice because you don't want to throw those away. The neck is going to go into your stock, and then you're going to save the innards for the duck pate, which you can see that video in our charcuterie series. Now you're going to start by cutting off that excess flap uh, that's at the opening of the duck cavity. And this is going to make it easier for you to go back and attach the leg and thighs later. Next, you want to flip the duck over. And if you're going to attach the whole wing, you're going to cut in behind it as you flex it forward. Instead here, I'm going to cut above that wing. And I'm going to remove it at the first joint, giving me an airline breast. And we actually have a complete video on the whole airline breast process. Uh, so I recommend watching that if you're unfamiliar with the technique. But basically, I'm just Frenching down that first joint, popping it off. And that's going to leave the bone attached to the breast, which I think has a better presentation value. Next, you want to form a gap between the leg and thigh portion and the actual carcass or the rib cage of the duck so you can start to detach it. Now, it's important that you only cut the skin from the carcass and you don't lose any skin on the breast. Now, see how I'm going along the bottom side of the breast, being very careful to leave that skin completely covering the duck breast. Now, that's a very important step. Going to cut back towards the backbone, making a clear separation between the breast and the leg and thigh portion. Next, you're going to come up the backbone towards the actual hip joint where the leg connects to the carcass. And once you find that joint, you're going to place your knife down into that joint and you're going to pull, which is going to release the oyster, which is right in that pocket above the hip joint. Again, you're going to come up the backbone, holding on to that leg and thigh portion, apply pressure to that hip joint with the side of your knife, pull on the leg and thigh to release the oyster, and then cut the skin to release the leg and thigh from the body. Next, you want to locate the breastbone of the duck, which runs down the length of the body. And you want to make a long, shallow incision along one side of the breastbone. And the breast itself is shaped a little bit more flat and wide than that of a regular chicken breast. You want to take that into consideration when you start to run your knife along the ribcage to release the breast. Now, don't forget about the wishbone, which is right here up at the top, which is basically the collarbone. And you want to flex along that bone as well. Then simply continue to work your knife down along the rib cage, making long, shallow strokes like you do in all your butchery cuts. Now, once you've detached most of the bottom portion of the breast, you're going to grab that wing joint and the breast in one hand, and you're going to run your knife along that backbone, coming up to that wing joint and detaching, giving you an airline breast. Again, for the other side, you're going to cut down along that middle breastbone, Run your knife along that rib cage, following the contour of the bird, always flexing your knife towards the bone using long, shallow strokes. Grab the wingtip and the breast in one hand, run up the backbone and detach. Now, all that's left here is a little bit of final trimming. And if you're going to be saving all those fat scraps and the skin to render down for fat to use for confit, then you're just going to want to remove that little piece of back fat as well, just because that's going to give you a better yield on your fat. Now next, after you remove the fat, is you want to go back and you want to trim up the breast as well. So first you want to make sure that you remove the tender from the breast, and you can just put that in your pate pile, and that's because it cooks at a different rate than the actual breast meat itself does. And you're going to go back and just do some final trimming on the skin. Now see how there's a little bit of the skin sticking out to the side of the breast? And that could possibly make your duck breast over fatty. So you want to trim the skin around the breast, but you always want to make sure, too, that the skin is uh, covering the breast completely because that's going to give you a nice moist breast, and duck skin is absolutely fabulous. It's one of the best things about eating duck in the first place. So see how I'm just gently sort of trimming around and following the contour and the swooping edges of the breast just to clean it up a little bit. Now, sometimes, too, you'll find that there's a little piece of cartilage at the tip of the breast right here, which I'm removing. You want to make sure that you get that. Get any excess fat between the wing joint and the breast itself. And now you have a beautiful airline duck breast that's ready to be roasted.